Bro, th this is who he is. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? Okay, so I have to show you guys this interview because I found this. I found this so strange. I found this so strange and surreal because when you listen to him, this is absolutely Joshua Primo. Like you can hear it. You can hear it with the demeanor, the maturity, um, the way that he articulates himself. He's the same person. A lot of times these players, once they get to the NBA, there's certain things that they can't say, but they didn't necessarily change much at all. That competitive nature is still there. That savage, that nasty. And I have to say, the language that Josh Primo used right here, okay, it's not super vulgar or nothing, but what he said right here, I think that it does embody who he is as a player. I think it's some nastiness in him, and a lot of people aren't necessarily noticing it. And it's very easy uh, to see it when you look at past interviews of these players. So let's go ahead and listen to this, okay? Just the beginning, and I, I promise you, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to be taken aback, okay? I'm not going to pause it. I'm just going to go straight to the part that I that I want you to hear. This is so strange to me. With AZ Compass, uh, day one at the Battle of the Rock, talk a little bit about what uh, was it like to come away with that day one victory in dominating fashion in, in the end. Well, for us, we just wanted to come out and start this weekend off right. Uh, we started off a bit sluggish, but we started to pick it up around the end of the first half, second half, came out just with the mentality that we were gonna beat the brakes off, off of these guys and we ended up doing that. What did you kind of want and to And then the interviewer just keeps going. He just goes to the next question. No, 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 no. We need to go back to that. Listen to his language here. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, we start off a bit sluggish, but we started to pick it up around the end of the first half, second half. Came out just with the mentality that we we're going to beat the brakes off, off of these guys and ended up doing that. We came in with the mentality, we're going to beat the brakes off these guys, and then we, we just did it. Dude, there's, there's some arrogance here. I absolutely love this. I was saying this in during the season. It was a point in which I was like, okay, Josh Primo is really showing some nasty. It was actually in the G League, and he was like... He, he really came into his mama mentality in which he was almost like gloating. Um, he was getting in other players' faces here and there. It was, it was very strange, but I sat back and I was like, this dude got some nastiness to him. He is not nice. Um, it's very similar to Tim Duncan where, you know, Tim Duncan, a lot of people say, man, Tim Duncan is such a quiet, nice guy. No, he's not. He, he, was, he was very rude on the court. He was very mean. And another thing, too, Mono Ginobili was that way as well. Jo Mono Ginobili would talk crap on the court. So, But Josh Primo, I, I'm just saying, I'm just wanted to show you this because I think that a lot of people see old interviews and they're like, oh, they're not that, real, they're that, they're not that person anymore. No, th they're still the same person. You're playing a sport, and a lot of times that competitive nature, that fun that you have playing that sport, it carries in your entire life. I mean, you look at Tom Brady, for instance. Tom Brady, if you go and watch old Tom Brady clips and you look at Tom Brady now and even interviews before and interviews now, he, he's the same kid. He's the same kid that just has that love for the game, that passion. Josh Primo, what, what shocked me in this interview is because he was so mature and it was the same pr Josh Primo that you hear in our interviews, right? But then when he just threw out there, yeah, we just beat the brakes off of him. That's some nastiness right there. That That's something inside of him. And I really do believe it's going to translate on the court. Actually, I think it already translated on the court. Um, I think back, and even though this season wasn't the great, like, great for Josh Primo as far as minutes, there were many moments in which he had key plays throughout the season where he showed his competitive nature, um, whether it be the, the four blocks he had against the Suns or when Greg Popovich ended up praising him for his fabulous defense on his mentor, <laughs> SGA, at the end of, of a game in which he defended in the corner and made it completely difficult, just absolutely difficult for SGA to even get the shot off, basically. So all I'm trying to say is he is really really competitive and to, and to use this type of language it just took me aback because it just didn't it sounded like our josh but obviously he wouldn't say that in in, in the nba like he's just not um but okay so let me com continue just really quickly okay because a lot of people will say and i know you've seen this clip before but a lot of people will say well you know it's high school and they're just so different and when you get to the nba you're a different no 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 look at this this interview right here, I know you guys seen this. This interview of Kobe Bryant, this this seems like it was done 
10 years in his career. Like this was the same Kobe, even though he's in high school, it's the exact same Kobe that we knew in the NBA. I just had an opportunity to go in the other locker room. I asked the starting five what they thought of you. By the way, this guy's instigating like crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. Two of them said, well, you know, we think we can contain him. Two others said, we think we're gonna win the game. And I'd like to know what you think. This is the same Kobe. It's the same Kobe. It's, it's the same Kobe. And that, that's all I'm trying to say is I'm not obviously I'm not making the comparison here. All I'm trying to say is these players, they don't change that much. Um, and for Josh Primo, just unwarranted really to just throw out there, yeah, we just wanted to kind of beat the brakes off of them. That language. That is straight up savage. One last time and we'll get out of here. Pick it up around the end of the first half, second half. Came out just with the mentality that we're gonna beat the brakes off of these guys and we ended up doing that. <laughs> so savage, bro. We just wanna beat the brakes off of them. You know, we we just did it. We just we just whooped them. We just Hey, what what can we do? I absolutely love it. I don't know. I don't know. I just love it. All I'm trying to show is the guy's always been pretty competitive um, and there's some nasty there. And even though we don't, we haven't necessarily seen it a ton, um, there's been sparks, obviously. Uh, but I, I really think it's going to be able to show this upcoming season and the seasons after because there's something there. Um, but anyways, I'll give it to you guys later, man. If you want to support the channel, only $2 a month, Patreon and YouTube links below. Uh, thanks for all the love. Until next time, deuces, man.